All right, we got some news, fellas. Nothing like super crazy or super impactful, but I think it's really interesting. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So someone made a forum post as the difficulty of raids increases, the minimum level to participate also increases. In the first raid, the required level was at least 50 and then it went up to 60. What I want to recommend is that leave the bare minimum level at 50 and the game itself leaves the level of the Pokemon as the recommended level for the boss as is the case in pvp so we wouldn't need to keep leveling pokemon in each raid so he wants to like stop us from having to xp train i don't really see a reason to this i think it's good that we have to go xp train our pokemon i think it creates desirability for that creates interest and it also makes it so you have to earn the ability to actually participate in that raid i think it's a good thing um as someone who's burned through some xp candies for levels and done some xp training let's go ahead and see what rach's response is admin response to this Part of the goal of the feature is to give value to leveling beyond 50. That's super true. There's not really any reason to go beyond 50 unless you're like doing like Jimmy runs with Typhlosion or like PVM Pokemon, which is leveling PVM Pokemon higher up is, is fun in Pokemon. While it may not be particularly challenging, uh, I would say mechanically challenging to grind. I think a grind in itself is challenging, but I understand. It rewards the players who do it with the drops that they can eventually earn with their higher level Pokemon, being more exclusive and creates a larger market for higher level mons. True helps the economy in the absence of a traditional mmo character leveling system the power of a player in pve uh, is in the variety of their toolkit absolutely making it extremely quick and easy to build teams that can beat any raid isn't in the best interest of the game when the permanent feature is intended super true uh, uh is intended to be a large part of our pvm post game going forward uh, and then someone says uh, will it be possible to raid up to level 100 in the future? Thank you. Yes, the hardest raids of the main future will require level 100. So this does not mean during the event. So it seems like now maybe there will be... I feel like the due to the specific wording here, it seems like they're not going to require level 100 for the Lunar New Year event. But that's not confirmed. That's just what my perception is. Um, but the hardest raids of the main feature will require level 100s maybe the event i was kind of expecting this this event to require them but maybe it won't we'll see uh, but it seems like once they're permanently added they will for sure require level 100s which i think is a great thing i i think adding that reason to level your pokemon up is fun it, it, it creates demand for xp charms it creates more demand for xp candies it creates more demand for higher level pokemon helps the economy in many 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 different ways it gives you a reason to grind it gives you satisfaction and that you know achievement once you get that like leveling pokemon people forget like this is how i played so growing up after you beat like pokemon fire red what did you do besides the islands you, you level pokemon to level 100 that was it like there was there wasn't really any end game in in like tr traditional pokemon so in my opinion getting back to that sort of traditional end game to some extent of leveling hundreds and giving them that much more reason that much more value to doing so i think it's really cool i think it's really fun i really like this um yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my thoughts on this. If you disagree, that's totally fine. Super valid. No opinion is wrong. Just present it politely. Uh, presenting presenting a, an opinion rudely makes it not really incorrect, but it makes it you're not. It's not like a good way to present your point. So present your your opposing opinions politely in the comments. That's all I ask. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Dislike if not, and subscribe for daily videos covering the event and all Pokemon news and the Twitch for streams like what I'm doing right now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you guys soon with any more updates.